So now that we have learned how to validate our forms, it's time now for some Ajax things. And if you have directly came to this video, I'll recommend that you watch my previous video, the jQuery form validation tutorial. What we are going to make in this tutorial is we are checking whether a username is available or not. So in this case, admin is our username, which is not available. But if I choose something else, then it's available. So now let's make it. First of all, we need to build a mechanism in PHP so that we can get to know whether a username is available or not. So create a new file and save it as is username available.php. Save that and I'm pasting few lines of code. So this page is getting some value by get request and we are saving that value in this username variable. And here we have a function get availability and this is an array which contains two values admin and site admin i'm making this variable hard codedly but you can customize this array by your database related query or the method so we are assuming that these are the usernames saved in our database and we are checking whether the username coming from our get request is inside this array or not if it is in there then this returns unavailable and if it is not then it returns available finally we are echoing it using this function and we are passing the username variable so now let's test it instead of this we are running this page is username available so this is the page and this is the get parameter username and we are testing this time admin so press enter and it says unavailable but if we say administrator then it says available so go back to that page and in our script.js this is our check username function which is called on the focused out event of this field so first of all we are checking whether it has valid length and if it has then it comes here so now first of all we are grabbing that value which is entered by our user and instead of this I'm pasting these lines so this is the get method of jQuery and this is making a request on this page is username available which we have here and the get parameter for this page is username and we are passing the value from our text field entered by our user so jQuery makes a request and comes with the data and if that data is available which is echoed by here then we don't want to show any error message but if data happens to be unavailable then we set our message username not available and then we show it so now let's test refresh first of all we check admin and i press tab from my keyboard then it says username not available and if i say administrator or something else so there is no error now